So we're here at the Technexion here, headquarters in Taipei. Hello. Hi, Nicolas. Uh, I'm Marcel van den Heuvel, and uh, I started Technexion uh, in 2001. Uh, we today uh, have uh, more than 140 people. And let me show you around. All right, so you have the, the en entrance right here. Hello. I'm Wang Ling, Tongsan Keji. Hello. Uh, so here's uh, all your engineers, your manufacturing, everything. Yeah, so here is our headquarter and uh, where we are now is our office where we have uh, our office staff, our R&D. And uh, um, let me show, uh, show you uh, first the, the back office. And so here is our purchase, purchase yeah. uh, uh, department. So, Hello. Uh, Hi. Hey. Hi. So they, they purchase all the components and uh, um, they prepare uh, that. Here is our, our finance, uh, our finance and human resource. And so uh, they are always busy to find new, uh, new talent. Um, so, but, uh, so where are we right now in, in, in Taipei? Uh, we are uh, like a 10 kilometer south of Taipei City from uh, the Taipei 101. And so uh, it's about a 15 minutes uh, drive to uh, downtown. So uh, here you will see some familiar faces that uh, are the people that always talk to our, our customers. Hey, we hey. just did a video in uh, Computex. Hello, welcome again. So what uh, we come by Technician. I'm uh, doing marketing here and uh, here is marketing department. Yeah, so Thomas doing the marketing, and uh, here is the uh, um, Hello. designer. Hello. Yeah. Doing uh, some designs for the yeah, the yeah. Android Things board. Uh, yeah, data sheet, I think that is. Yeah, a data sheet. Uh, so uh, um, the customers mostly uh, connect with uh, with our sales uh, team. Uh, so we. This looks like a nice place around here. Yeah, we are in a very nice complex. So Hello. maybe later when we when we walk to our factory, you can uh, you can uh, see the surrounding. It's a very nice uh, complex we are in. A very modern uh, uh, complex. Hello. Uh, Good morning. Yeah. Hey. New sheet Technexion. Bonjour. Hello. So uh, so who are you? I'm Henry. I'm the VP of Sales here at Technexion, and I handle the commercial part. Can, can you introduce some of the guys sure. and girls around here? We have here. Diana, who is our Japanese-speaking sales. Hello. We have uh, Jesse, who is responsible Hi. for Hi. Asia. All right. And then we have Sophia, who handles the web sales. Hey. And then we have Ruby, who does all the paperwork. And next to her, we have Rita, who is oh, our wow. shipping lady. So um, uh, Technexion has lots of customers all over Europe, USA, right? That's your main target? Yeah, we, we mostly ship uh, into the, the States in, in Europe, and we also have a lot of customers in uh, Japan. Um, so we work with a lot of uh, distributors, and uh, uh, the distributors, we train them, and they have the FAEs to support our customers. Uh, so our team here in Taiwan can be rather small and we work with partners uh, that uh, are close to the customer and uh, uh, we, uh, we connect to them and we, we check with them every status in the project. Um, and the so business potentially uh, always growing, right? I mean, it's, there's more and more stuff to do. Yes, exactly. All right. Yeah, we are not bored uh, no. here. We, yeah. uh, we are uh, 15, 15 years ago, we started the company and uh, the company steadily uh, grew uh, over time. Um, we are happy to have uh, an, a nice group of people. Yeah. And uh, we, uh, uh, we are almost like a family. Uh, be careful, uh, uh, Nicolas, uh, okay. falling down with, uh, with walking and uh, shooting an, a movie is uh, very entertaining for people. So here you have some uh, meeting rooms, the customers might come over and you have all kinds of deals going on. Uh, yes, but uh, uh, let me show you here. Yeah. Hello. Hi. Um, so, um, um, here are the, the project managers. Hi. that. Uh, that uh, take care of um, of uh, the project uh, when the customer um, uh, give us the uh, uh, requirements, the specifications. 
so uh, we take care of all the all the all the requirements and uh, design uh, as the customer wants. So we have customers that want to do outdoor applications and they want to uh, to have waterproof systems. Then uh, during design, we we take care of this and we test uh, the product uh, so that the customer don't have failure in the field. Uh, uh, Technicians, customers uh, that uh, require uh, 10 years or 15 years long liberty of a product. Uh, what does that mean? That means that the customer wants to buy the same product 10 years from now. So when we design a product, we need to take care that all the components will, will remain available. That's why you work with NXP, for example. We work with they NXP. have long-term support. And, yes. Uh, NXP, Texas Instruments, uh, Intel, a, a lot of these suppliers, they have an Qualcomm? embedded roadmap. Considering, uh, Qualcomm, yeah. yes. Uh, because they want to introduce embedded long-term support also, right? Uh, yes, uh, uh, Qualcomm, uh, we also designing products with them. Um, so, uh, Can you introduce those guys? Hello? Hi. Hey. So, and, uh, and what did you do? Um, so Lena, the girl, and um, and um, I forget his English name. Um, Monkey. Monkey. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. That's not the best name for for PMC. Uh, so. Um, yeah, English names are always uh, chosen as they uh, as 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 the weather almost. They can change the name every time. So they take care of bomb control and material uh, control. Uh, so let's let's yeah. come here first, uh, Nicolas. Why are you running away? Oh, sorry. So uh, here are the mechanical guys. And so the, here are oh. the mechanical guys. Hello. Hey. Hi. So. Um, what are you working on right here? Um, let me see. Uh, that is our uh, new um, waterproof uh, uh, product line that, uh, that we will uh, release soon. Um, uh, we have a lot of customers uh, in the food industry and outdoor applications that want to have a product that is completely waterproof and can be cleaned uh, with uh, water jets, uh, for example. Waterproof. Yeah, waterproof. Yeah. Like, uh, Which one looks like? Uh, yeah, we have actually uh, some uh, first samples here. And so uh, it's completely waterproof. Uh, waterproof connectors on, on the rear. Um, so uh, it's stainless steel. And so it's uh, not uh, cheap plastic, it's uh, very heavy. I, uh, I think it's like uh, five, six kilos. Nice. And uh, so. Uh, um, stainless steel, why stainless steel? Um, customers in the food industry, uh, for example, they need to clean that with uh, water jets. Um, uh, so uh, they, they require uh, stain, uh, stainless steel. Um, so this- and You have the factory just over there, right? Yeah, the factory is just, just there, in that building there. And we so we will walk to the, in, in, in the minute, here. okay? It's, uh, like SMT equipment, everything. Everything is there, but uh, come on, wait yeah. a couple of minutes. Okay, keep watching that movie, yeah. okay? Yeah. Um, so, uh, um, we are testing this at the moment. Um, so, we already put it at the bottom of a swimming pool to, to make sure that it will survive. Uh, we blocked the swimming pool for, for a night. We were, uh, so, uh, in the morning it was still, uh, still working. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it's very heavy. Nice. So, uh, it's going to go 10 meters deep for 24 hours. Yeah, no problem. Nice. So uh, we do optical, uh, optical bonding of the uh, of the touch panel. Uh, uh, so here's another mechanical engineer. All right. Hello. Hello. So, so working on this one? Yeah. Is that is an uh, yeah. That is an uh, small HMI. Uh, very okay. nice aluminum uh, finish. Uh, so that's for for uh, home automation or public uh, public areas. Uh, so, uh, but our, uh, I told you, our customers they want to have uh, quality. They want us to do testing. They want uh, to be sure that that we run all the tests. So, and then we are back here at Alan. Yes. Alan. Um, Maybe you can can show uh, Nicolas uh, our our thermal and environmental testing uh, uh, on the other side. Oh, so sure. you go with us. Yes. Sure. Yeah. So Alan, he um, he is our our project manager, 
and uh, uh, a part of project management is that he has to do all the testing of the equipment that we stand up to uh, the specifications that we put on the data sheet. So uh, he is running, of course. Um, so uh, we do uh, thermal testing, environmental testing, we do vibration testing. So uh, yeah. here. Right here. We what have two mean? machines. One is uh, in lower temperature, another is in higher temperature. Right now it's minus 20 here. Yeah. Alright, let's go in there. Yeah. Here we have another machine, it's 55. 55 is just heating up in there. You yeah, and the high humidity, you can see here. You can make pizza in there. <laughs> yeah. 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 90% humidity. Whoa. So, um, to run the product at a, a high temperature and a high humidity, uh, you can do an aging test on the product. Uh, so uh, if you run the, the product uh, for two months uh, in uh, high temperature, you can simulate a life of uh, seven, eight years. So uh, customers want that because they want to know what to expect. Uh, you don't want to install a kiosk in a museum and after five months it dies. So you want to have assurance that the product will keep working for years and years to come. So uh, Alan brought us here into our, our R&D uh, 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 department. So here is our R&D, and let me first show you a couple of hardware uh, engineers. Hi, Alan. Hello. We have many Alans in, in, yeah. the, uh, in the office. So this is a PCB design? Yeah. Uh, For, is it this one? Uh, no, this no, is no, a no, new no. design. Yep. Um, so that actually is, uh, is, uh, is a Gerber, right? So uh, you are checking uh, if the routing of the PCB is, is correct and uh, that there are no shorts in the PCB, right? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, probably we can, we can uh, fab the prototypes uh, later this week, right? Yeah. yeah? Cool. Okay, good. Uh, thank you. And here you're playing, uh, looping some videos uh, testing stuff or no? Uh, yeah, the, when we um, when we um, uh, do validation of the board, we have to run uh, movies to avoid uh, memory leaks in software or in hardware. So we we do uh, continuous loopback uh, testing. Uh, so and this uh, is testing something. Uh, this is for yeah. debugger. Debugging. Yes, like a. Checker. Right. Clock. You can see. Cool. So yeah, this, uh, this is uh, a very small board that we are designing. And uh, it's a Pico IT export, uh, 72 by uh, 100 millimeter. And uh, that's a board that uh, customers uh, uh, use to build a kiosk or a panel PC. It's a very small board. And so... Uh, um, All right, let's, go, let's walk around. Yeah, so this, uh, we, just, uh, we just set up this R&D uh, extension a couple months ago, so uh, uh, we still have uh, quite some, uh, some space. Uh, working hard into the code. Uh, hello. Uh, uh, are you working on Android things, or maybe they're working on Android things? No, Android things is there uh, in the back. Uh, uh, here is uh, doing, um, uh, let me see, um, for free autos. Uh, uh, so that's um, a uh, uh, real-time operation and system. And here's all the technician work. Is that stuff you've been doing? Uh, that is part of the of the boards that we have Hi, designed. Hello. What do you do? Yeah, um, I'm working on uh, eight-hour board stop on Yocto. Yocto? Yeah, we so have a uh, uh, complete open source uh, code on our GitHub. So Yocto is quite important, no? Yeah. Yocto is very stable very many functionalities around the yeah. Yocto. So you support many, many platforms, you support Ubuntu, Android things. Yeah, so we support uh, Yocto, of course, uh, as uh, Richard was mentioning. Um, we support Ubuntu, we support uh, Android, the normal Android, and Android things. Uh, Android things is uh, Android for everything that is not a tablet or a mobile phone. And so um, um, here this is Tony. Hello. Hi, Hi Tony. Hey, so what is this the code? Is this is Android? Oh, there it is, Android Things. So what, what's going on with this Android here? 
so uh, yeah, uh, TechNexion is uh, a uh, an launch partner of uh, Android Things. Uh, so uh, um, we have uh, our, let me get one. Uh, so uh, uh, the uh, um, Pico modules uh, have uh, three connectors and uh, we have many versions for that. Uh, IMX6, uh, UL, IMX6, IMX7. We will have uh, IMX8 coming uh, uh, later this year. And um, this form factor uh, is all hardware pin-to-pin uh, uh, -pin and uh, supported with uh, Android, uh, Android Things uh, Linux. And uh, the beauty from, uh, from this system is that uh, since everything is... Sorry. Yeah, you can see some, some Android stuff happening since, since what, sorry? Uh, since everything is uh, hardware pin to pin, the customer can scale up and down in performance. So when a customer starts his project, he may be not sure the performance that he requires for his project. So uh, some customers, they choose two light specifications. They need to upgrade to higher spec. Some customers, they, they have more than enough and they can cross down to an, a lower cost uh, module. And so uh, it is very nice that our products are, are pin to pin uh, compatible. So and what is he doing here? Hello. Hey. Hi, Alvin. What is this? Uh, uh, Ubuntu. Booting Ubuntu? Yes. And uh, testing here on this one? Um, yeah, testing some, uh, some LTE uh, connectivity. Cool. So. Uh, um, so the whole world is uh, is talking about uh, IoT. Whole bunch of boards. Uh, these boards are just uh, for running our our testing, and they are being used uh, test to fail. And so uh, uh, part of our our testing is that we do test to fail. If I jump in here, what is this? This is running Android, maybe. Um, I don't really know what it is running at the moment. I think there's this, lots uh, and lots of projects going on, right? Uh, yes, uh, we keep busy and we keep uh, uh, we keep maintaining our products. So we have products uh, today still in, in mass production that were designed in 2007, 2008. And so, uh, like I said, our customers want to have support for for a long time to come. Uh, here Hello. is uh, uh, more hey. hardware hey. engineer. Hello. What are you doing here? Doing some Qualcomm solution. Qualcomm solution. Yeah. APQ. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So Qualcomm is shipping? Uh, no, uh, Qualcomm will be shipping in the fourth quarter of this year. Uh, There's so, lots of new Qualcomm solutions, right? Uh, uh, yes, uh, the Qualcomm, uh, Qualcomm has now an uh, embedded line for embedded customers. Uh, we, are not a customer, uh, we are not a company designing uh, tablets or, or gadgets that, uh, that are selling for three months. We are building solutions that have to sell years and years to come. So uh, we only take embedded components from embedded roadmaps. And Qualcomm last year, they announced uh, uh, embedded uh, roadmap, and uh, we are busy designing products on. 400 on and 600 are long term, right? Uh, How about yes. 800? That'd be great if you can uh, run Windows 10 with emulation for 10 years. Uh, Qualcomm will make you happy in a couple months. Oh, cool. <laughs> so, uh, hello. Huh? Hey. Hello. So, this is some. Sorry, jumping in. Uh, mm -hmm. So, can. PCB? Uh, yeah. They are review. Yeah. Ken is our EMI, EMC engineer, so um, he is checking all our designs uh, uh, for EMI and EMC safety. We need to do a lot of tests, for example, when you have uh, uh, ingress uh, current uh, or you have like lightning or, or other external uh, factors or uh, uh, static discharge uh, in environments, so you uh, um, you need to test for that. So with our customers don't want products uh, failing. Yes. So here are another bunch of PCBs. The whole, all the PCBs, hello. Hey. Uh, hey. Working on some uh, PCB also. Yeah. So you can take pictures uh, and movies yeah. from our schematics. It's not a problem. It's not secret. No, it's not secret. Uh, so you're hundred percent open source. Uh, for software, everything is GPL. So uh, uh, we believe that uh, GPL is the way to go. Um, That's very smart, not to do this. Um, 
Well, um, the customers want to use our products, and if we don't use GPL and we provide a closed box, uh, then they don't know how to uh, uh, to support it. Uh, so around here, you're big fans of Linux. Uh, of course, we are big fa fans of uh, of Linux. Actually, yeah, over the past years, we uh, have been shipping little penguins with our development kits. And uh, we shipped uh, close to 10,000 of them. Whoa. So, uh, um, hey, hey, who are you? Um, I'm Jim. Jim, what do yeah. you do? Um, I'm doing the, um, the firmware for the Pixie module and also write um, some uh, front end control APP to. Um, to, to the, the firmware? Yeah. yeah. That's not easy, no? So, to work on the firmware. So, what is this? So, this is uh, our IoT module. And uh, it's nice. So with the pins that goes into so that are microbus uh, pins. Uh, so it's uh, very easy to click on an, uh, on an, uh, on a project. But uh, we, uh, I turn it around, uh, Nicholas. We uh, have uh, a small PCB, as you can see, uh, for OEM customers that want to integrate this technology into their uh, product. And then this small, it's not the whole thing, it's only this part. Yeah, and, and the, larger, the larger PCB with the connectors is for uh, customers that have small volume and want to click it into their design. So What's the CPU? Uh, it's, an, uh, it's a Freescale NXP uh, microprocessor, uh, the KW41. One of the Kinetis uh, Courier M4 something? Yes, yeah. and it supports uh, Bluetooth uh, 4.2, and it also have uh, support for Thread. Thread is um, an, an uh, IPv6 um, uh, uh, protocol uh, network. Um, it's already integrated in uh, products like the Google uh, Nest, uh, so. Uh, um, it uh, becomes part of Android Things uh, when Android Things uh, launches. So you're going to make it work? Thread? All that uh, stuff? He has to. You have he to. has to, <laughs> right? So, so uh, the, yes. the guys you have around here, are they some of the best in Taiwan? Yeah. Maybe of, best in the world? Uh, of course they are the best. How long time you work in Technixion? Um, you are here now? Three um, months? Um, four months? About um, two months. Yeah. Two months. Yeah. So it's challenging? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah? So, uh, yeah, here's a new addition. Mm -hmm. But have you been working on embedded Linux since 2001? When you started, 2001, the company? Uh, what were you doing in the beginning? Well, in the, uh, in the beginning, we were uh, helping customers with uh, creating total solutions. Uh, but uh, we saw uh, over time that uh, uh, customers needed more and more customization. And uh, with that customization, uh, um, we saw that we needed more and more um, 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 engineering to support them. So uh, we set up our R&D department uh, in uh, 2007. And some, some of, of the, the guys are there since then? Uh, yes, yeah, some of the guys are, are, are still there. And uh, actually, we, we do not have a lot of engineers leaving our company because uh, we, uh, we uh, provide them a very nice environment. Uh, so we, uh, we have um, flexible work times for engineers. Uh, so they come uh, in the morning when they wake up. Some of them uh, uh, come to the office uh, around lunchtime. Um, which is uh, not uh, not common in in Asia in the, in the West. It is very Do common. Do they work in, at, at home also? Uh, no, they work at the office because they need to discuss with their colleagues. But uh, um, we tell the engineers that uh, they have to uh, to come uh, before before lunch. So and we're going downstairs. Where are we going? Uh, we actually we go to our manufacturing, uh, Nicholas. Uh, so. Uh, um, Thomas is actually uh, tagging along with us. Uh, hey. Uh, hey. So, uh, hey, hey, again. Thanks for holding my light. <laughs> You're welcome. All right. Uh, so, uh, yeah. so we walk to uh, to our uh, manufacturing so facility. Your building is a very cool area right here. Yes, uh, uh, we are here uh, since the early days from uh, Technaction. Yeah. We have moved a little bit around uh, in the buildings here. Um, this is a very famous uh, complex, uh, uh, Nicolas. What's uh, the name of the complex? Uh, it's a Far Eastern uh, 
a square in uh, Zhonghe, uh, Taipei, uh, Taipei. Far Eastern, the telecom company is here? No? Uh, yeah, it's the, uh, it's the same um, uh, company that, uh, uh, that has also a construction uh, company. But uh, uh, This is your building, the yellow one? Yeah, we are in the yellow building here. Okay. And, and what are the other companies around here? Uh, for example, A-Data is uh, here in the complex. Um, there are many distributors here in the complex as well, like uh, Aero uh, is, uh, is having their offices here. So uh, it's, a, it's a cluster. Uh, so you distribute through Aero? Uh, yes, we just uh, signed uh, an agreement with Aero uh, last week, so uh, it will be announced uh, within the next one or two weeks. And you have Paris in the... In the this is, looks like a... Uh, yeah, Eiffel you Tower. at home, uh, right? <laughs> Uh, so, uh, um, yeah, we distribute over Aero, um, Avnet, uh, Digikey, uh, Mauser, Alight, um, Future Electronics. So we work with, uh, with all the global uh, distributors to be close to our customers. Uh, besides that, uh, our sales team is flying out of Taiwan continuously. So, for example, I'm flying to Europe like uh, three, four times a year. Uh, just to be close to customers and see what they what they need for their for their future proje uh, projects. From? I'm from uh, from Holland myself. You've been here for a long time. Huh? Uh, I moved to Taiwan in 2001 uh, when uh, uh, when setting up uh, Technexion. So here is another uh, uh, icon of uh, Paris uh, for you, uh, ah, you Nicolas. We didn't prepare this for your company tour. Where's it Macron? was already there. Where's Macron? Huh? Uh, the French president Macron is not, uh, not yet. Uh, I, I, he looks like him. Uh, I don't. Uh, I don't have any comments on that. <laughs> All right. He's nice. a good guy, though. Yeah. I hope so. So okay, we we make it. Uh, we make it to uh, to this our one? factory uh, Which floor building. Which floor are we going to? Uh, we first go to the 13th floor. Okay. Uh, where is our our? Uh, testing and our system assembly packing and uh, after that we take the uh, we take the stairs down to the eighth floor and uh, that is uh, where is our SMT facility so uh, um, we will finish finish our tour there but uh, let's first go up to the 13th floor and let's hope that we are lucky oh, yes we are there. lucky with the elevator. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, we got it. Yes, I thank got you. it. Thank you. Okay, cool. so we go to the 13th floor. Yeah. Yes. And so um, on the 13th floor, we uh, we do our uh, uh, testing, validation for Technexion is very important that every uh, product is uh, fully tested. And so uh, uh, we test every product, every function on every PCB in every state. Um, our customers, they, uh, they um, buy our products uh, uh, with, the, uh, um, with the request or the requirement that they, uh, that they use it for many years to come. And so, uh, so... What kind of customers do you have? Without saying their names and stuff. Uh, we have customers using our products to control elevators and that is not because we are in an elevator. Uh, we have customers uh, using our products in climate control for agriculture um, as, um, um, industry. We have factory automation customer. Uh, so we have uh, customers uh, in, every, um, in every field. So... Uh, here is, uh, is our uh, QC. Do we need special uh, shoes or something to get in there? Uh, yes, uh, uh, we, uh, we, uh, we should uh, get some, some, some shoes. Okay. Um, so... Uh, okay, let's try. Yeah, you're good with that, uh, yeah. Nicolas? Yeah, I can fit in there. Yeah. Cool. I don't need a... a so let me also hear yeah. them. Maybe grab this one. Or? Yeah. Okay, okay, let's go in. I, I think you have enough light here. Uh, yeah. We have a lot of uh, light in the factory. Yeah. Um, let's walk around. So, uh, so, what is she doing? 
and she is doing uh, testing uh, testing of uh, of uh, products. So everything is auto testing. Um, so we believe that uh, uh, auto testing uh, will uh, will uh, um, will be more, more accurate than uh, than only using uh, um, people. Uh, because it's uh, it is now testing the product completely, and then it every is function, every function is tested. Every so, port, uh, USB, uh, network, uh, audio, everything. This is from display. the neighbor company. Uh, yes, that's yeah. from the neighbors. Um, so um, they uh, they test every function, and uh, the results of the test uh, per PCB is uh, locked on our. Uh, company server, so we know the person that tested the PCB, the time the PCB has been tested, the test results, everything is locked on our um, on our database. So right here is the testing area. And this is testing area, yes. And uh, it's all the parts that are manufactured downstairs, which we go after, right? Yes. We just come up here after of the testing. Course. And uh, this is actually the last uh, step of uh, our uh, QC process. Uh, we are installing a an, an, uh, kickstart loader on on the on the PCBs. Uh, when the customer uh, unpacks uh, his product uh, and he boots it up, he will see uh, Android, Linux, Ubuntu uh, icons, and he can easily click it and install oh, really? what he wants. Yeah. So this is actually the kickstart loader. Well, so you have it upside down. Yeah. Let's jump over here. So you have a kickstart loader that lets people choose every any OS. Uh, yes. So you can you can choose uh, uh, you can choose uh, uh, what OS you want to run on it. And we have a lot of demo images. Okay. Testing the sound. Yes. And uh, sound is the only thing that we cannot test. By uh, by machine, uh, so uh, sound have to be tested by uh, by the person doing the test. And so, but all the other tests uh, are um, are done automatically. This is actually the Android Things board that uh, that you ask us so much about, uh, Nicholas. And so, oh, yeah? this is the official uh, Google. Uh, uh, Android Things uh, evaluation board. So we are testing that in, in multiple stages. Because let me let me uh, get uh, get one from here, and it's not not yet tested. So uh, this is uh, what we call an, uh, a base board. Uh, all the connect uh, connectivity is uh, is here, and uh, then you have the system or module that will sit uh, sit over there. And uh, so we're testing this board first, uh, all the functions, and we test also the uh, system on module, all the functions, and then we put it together, we test one more time to ensure that it is uh, fully, uh, fully working. All right, and so, so, uh, so yeah. you've al you already, you're shipping, you are the one making ARM powered Android things. Uh, yes. You are the company enabling this, and you're already shipping? Yeah, most. so a couple of weeks ago, there was Google I.O., and uh, Google gave away a lot of uh, Android things. Which uh, she was testing. Uh, yes, uh, and maybe one of the other girls was testing yeah. it, uh, but uh, uh, yes. Um, testing all of them. Yes, every board, every function uh, has been tested. Uh, um, there is no board leaving our facility that is not being tested by, uh, by our QC staff. All right, cool. So let, let's go yeah. to the other side, uh, Nicolas. Yeah. So as you see, uh, this facility is very clean. Um, so um, we want to keep our uh, facility organized and uh, we uh, take care that all the products uh, always have their place. So we don't want to have things uh, laying around uh, uh, unattended. So, so everything is... Uh, is uh, going from production to QC, QC to to uh, final uh, uh, QC, and then pack it, uh, packaging uh, in in a seamless uh, flow. We don't want to have products uh, sitting idle. And you're using Ubuntu. 
Um, Ubuntu uh, is just uh, the host PC, but it is yeah. the, the product. But many is, places uh, use yeah. Windows. You just have Ubuntu running. So this is made in Taiwan stuff, right? It's Everything not, is made in Taiwan. It's not made in China. Yeah. The you, next one is always. So, so um, the one board uh, is the IMX6 uh, um, evaluation board that we launched a couple years ago. Uh, so uh, um, we uh, we are still manufacturing that. Um, we uh, we enable a lot of uh, customers in uh, in uh, software uh, development on the IMX series uh, with the one board. It's a very low cost uh, development board. But uh, um, maybe I show you uh, the people that are um, are, are not be, uh, busy. Uh, um, um, Oh, wait, I, so, uh, um, also some kind of uh, materials coming in here or no? It is a packaging, uh, pa a packaging uh, area. Uh, so, uh, um, uh, packaging uh, uh, cartons and EPE, they are all, uh, all here. Uh, so, uh, at the end of the day, and that's why they are not busy now, uh, at the end of the day, uh, say four o'clock afternoon, five o'clock afternoon, the cartons are all coming out and uh, they are packaging uh, all the products uh, before the end of the day. Uh, so uh, um, so uh, here is our function testing and uh, you uh, probably want to see our SMT line, yeah. uh, right? And so uh, we, we need to go downstairs. And so mind your, your steps a little bit, uh, okay. Nicolas. Change the shoes again. Yeah. So yeah, let's let's put on the shoes uh, first. All right. So uh, by the way, uh, Nicholas, uh, let me introduce you to uh, Jimmy. Um, Jimmy is uh, is our factory manager, and uh, uh, he can speak some some English um, as well. So you can ask him uh, questions. Uh, it's a very high quality, mm -hmm. high quality. Yes. Yeah. And so, <laughs> Jimmy, uh, Jimmy. How many did you ship in, since 2001? I, I, I lost count. I know that we are shipping uh, around 50,000, 60,000 products a month uh, okay. at the moment. And uh, quantity uh, keeps uh, increasing uh, uh, continuously. And so uh, let me help you to open yeah. the door. Right. We're going to go downstairs, right? Uh, yeah, so we take some stairs. So uh, once, once again, be careful, else everyone will be walking, uh, watching the movie. Nice. Uh, so we're going a couple of floors down. So we were on the 13th floor, and we go to the 8th floor. So... so it's what, better to what, go this way than going up. So what did you do before 2001? You were studying? Uh, I was still a student uh, before 2001. Uh, I'm only 39 years old. And like so, the president of France. <laughs> uh, yeah, so... Uh, uh, so... Uh, uh, you were a student in what? Computer science? Uh, international trade, actually. All right. And, and so after my uh, university, uh, I uh, decided to move to Taiwan and uh, I started to... Uh, one more. We're almost there. And I uh, started TechNexion. And uh, it started a little bit as a, as a hobby project. And uh, now, 15 years later, we are 140 people. What does it mean, TechNexion? Um, Next technology? Actually, yes, <laughs> you are good there. Yeah. So it's three words um, uh, connected to each other. So tech is the technology, and uh, then um, uh, connection. So what are, what are these paintings? Yeah, um, we put some uh, some nice artwork uh, around our office. Maybe you also saw on our headquarter. Yeah. Um, it's um, uh, for. Um, 
for giving our customers um, uh, uh, no, how to say um, our products are a component in, in our customers uh, uh, solution and we have the same product can be used in, in different applications yeah. and so uh, um, we have to change clothes yeah. uh, here, have so here uh, yeah we have shoes uh, for you as well uh, Nicolas so that's for me yeah, thank you. I will help you with uh, the yeah. jacket. I like those jackets. Are you oui. good with it? Yeah. Yes? Oui. So, okay. All right. So Jimmy can help us to uh, to open the door because we have ESD control here. Uh, so, uh, Without uh, without that, you uh, you cannot enter this uh, uh, this facility. So this is the SMT. Yeah. So uh, this is our SMT uh, lines. Okay. So we have uh, we have two lines here behind uh, behind us. Uh, so uh, so shall I show you from the from the start to yeah. uh, uh, to the end? Uh, so we have to go to the other side. Uh, so um, we value very high quality uh, uh, over here. Uh, so everything is backed up uh, on data, and we are very consistent here. Everything is so Japanese machines, or Italian? everything in Japanese. Uh, so uh, here are our servers. So all the data that is generated uh, during production is set up uh, is back up on our company servers. Uh, this on the in the night time is backed up off off site so that we have all the information on uh, uh, on our servers because our customers want to have traceability we can trace every single component on every PCB we can every IC every resistor every capacitor we know uh, which machine mounted it when it was mounted but also which suppliers sold it to us what was the date that the component came uh, into our warehouse? All those steps are, are recorded. So these look very modern. Uh, yeah, they are uh, two years ago uh, uh, installed. So, so uh, as you can see, everything is no touch. So we don't touch the PCBs in the production. So also very important for our customers. We only use Alpha solder paste. What is that? Uh, Alpha is a brand. It's a very high quality uh, solder paste. Um, uh, we only use uh, this solder paste because we want to have consistent um, uh, quality. So, um, what's going on in there? Uh, this is the um, solder paste uh, uh, silk skin uh, uh, machine. So uh, uh, the solder paste is on top of a metal plate and uh, the machine is applying the solder paste to the PCB. So if you, if you check a little bit further, you will see the solder paste here is on the, on the PCB. It's uh, a stencil uh, that uh, do that. Then the next machine here is uh, SPI, solder paste inspection machine. Uh, so. Uh, this machine is 3D checking every PCB, every solder point on the PCB that the solder paste is, is, is in the good quali uh, quantity and quality. So, uh, just to ensure that the quality is consistent. We do that in line, every PCB down the line is going through that machine. Uh, just to ensure that every PCB has the same quality. We do not take a PCB for testing. Every PCB goes the, the same route. So this is the chip mounter. We use the uh, NPMW2 from uh, Panasonic. So uh, very high-end uh, machines, uh, 70,000 components per hour mounted on PCBs. Japan makes the best robots, right? Uh, yes, uh, Panasonic uh, equipment for SMT is, uh, is uh, top of the line and it is the best money you can buy. Each of these machines cost like a million or what? Uh, well, uh, the machines here that you see are like 8-9 million US dollars. Nice. 
So it's a huge investment. Uh, Technexion uh, invested that uh, two years ago, and uh, um, the machines are running uh, uh, 20 hours a day. It's better not to put one's hands inside, right? No, it has, uh, it has uh, security. So when you open the machine, it will shut down. So, but let's not do that. It's too expensive. Yeah. So the first machine is is mounting the resistors and the capacitors, and uh, the second machine is mounting the larger components. Then after the, the chips are mounted, they have to go uh, to the reflow. Uh, the reflow is... Like an oven? Yes, like an oven. So it works very similar to an, uh, a pizza uh, oven. It is a horizontal oven and the PCB going in on one side and coming out at the other side. And you can see the simulation very nicely here on the display. So uh, Technation uses 12 zone reflow. And uh, uh, typically, uh, SMT factories, they only use eight zones. Uh, why 12 zones is we can, uh, we can have a much uh, smoother and better solder profile. You need to do preheating on your PCBs, and then you have the solder point around 230 uh, uh, plus. So you run on 255 degrees Celsius grade. And, uh, um, Technation also uses a lot of BGA uh, chips that are the, the ICs with many solder points underneath the, the, the PCB. Uh, these machines also can do package on package. Uh, so package on package is that you do IC stacking. So you have a CPU and a memory and flash on top of each other. How is it possible that this machine can do that? Uh, it's very advanced equi uh, equipment. So uh, the flash on top of the CPU. Yeah, so the mounter the mounter can put uh, the CPU on the on the PCB and then the flash on top of that. They have and cameras and very precision. It and doesn't have one camera. It has like five, six cameras to align that, uh, uh, Nicholas. It's very high-end uh, equipment. Um, also, in this um, uh, reflow, we are running nitrogen. Uh, oh, that sounds dangerous. It's not dangerous. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, a very safe uh, uh, environment. Uh, nitrogen in the reflow uh, is done uh, for humidity uh, control. As you understand, uh, uh, humidity and solder paste, they are enemies of each other. They will cause corrosion. So when you do soldering, you want to drive out all the humidity out of your reflow. So when there is no humidity in the reflow, when the soldering uh, happens, it's very uh, hard and solid sol uh, soldering and uh, you will not get corrosion over time. Here again, customers want to have good quality products that will work for years to come. So my colleague here, he is uh, checking the, the PCBs that the soldering, everything is, uh, is, uh, is okay. Here we have um, AOI. Uh, so we use an Omron AOI. Uh, AOI stands for Automatic Optical uh, 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 Inspection. And so this machine in a couple seconds can, uh, can check that every component is mounted on the PCB on the, on the right place and uh, um, that it is not shifted or that it has uh, 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 solder joints that didn't uh, solder correctly. Um, when there is an, uh, a warning coming out, it can be a false warning. So because of that, uh, uh, somebody is sitting here to do optical uh, inspection uh, by a magnifier class. Um, so... And uh, uh, are they basically two of the same? Everything the same? It is a carbon copy. Carbon so uh, uh, line A and line B is uh, completely uh, identical. And how many uh, guys and girls to operate all this? Uh, we need uh, around six uh, uh, people uh, to run two lines. Uh, the rest of the people are here just for inspection and checking. Uh, so uh, this is uh, a PCB that needs to have a connector that the machine uh, unfortunately cannot uh, place. So we have to place that uh, connector by, uh, by hand. Uh, uh, 
So yes, uh, here are two um, two lines I already mentioned that uh, we're running nitrogen in the reflow. So um, uh, let me show you yeah. uh, 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 our nitrogen generator. Oh, uh, so. Advanced. So typically, uh, people they purchase nitrogen in the, in big bottles. Maybe for your car, you buy a small bottle. But uh, we're using uh, 20 cubic meters an hour, uh, so uh, that will uh, that will take too many uh, bottles of uh, nitrogen that have to uh, to be brought here. And it cannot and, explode. Uh, uh, I think it is not really safe to. Uh, to, to hit that um, on the street. So no smoking here? Um, it is safe. Everything is safe. So, uh, air compressor. So, uh, we have, uh, we compress the air. And of course we have to dry the air. So we dry the air. And then we generate uh, nitrogen uh, on site. So, uh, let me show you. Uh, please come a little bit. So, uh, it's quite impressive. Whoa. So, uh, that's special. I haven't seen this before. Uh, no, this is uh, assembled on site. Why? Um, why is that better to do all this? Beca because why we have the nitrogen on site is number one, uh, by having it on site, we never ever have an excuse that we don't have nitrogen. So, because we generate nitrogen ourselves. So, uh, we, uh, we want to be self-sufficient uh, self, uh, 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 there. keeps the noise inside. Uh, yes. Uh, um, um, Taiwan uh, is a very... Um, regulated place. Uh, regulated place, yes, uh, correct. So, uh, you are in a factory, uh, maximum uh, uh, noise level is around an, uh, 60 or 65 decibel, and you have time limits on that. So, as you can uh, can see... Oh, here. So, let me, let me show you. So, the components... So this is also Panasonic. This is called a feeder, and a feeder is um, um, is uh, 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 um, a word that everyone will understand. Feeding, feeding like eating. Uh, so uh, we put the components, the resistors, on a reel. The reel uh, goes into the feeder, and then the feeder feeds the components to the machine. So yes. So we have a lot of feeders here. Um, one feeder, by the way, like this one I hold here in my hand, is uh, around 3,000 US. Like a used car? Uh, okay. Yeah, cheap used car. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, uh, so as you can see, there are a couple hundred of them. So that's a couple hundred used cars. Right, so um, that's why you need a key to enter the room, right? Uh, yes, uh, here everything access control. Uh, so why we have so many feeders here standby is um, the machines are running at the moment, and uh, uh, we prepare the next um, the next model here already. So once the production is complete, we we have a second round of uh, of uh, products uh, already standby. So as you can see, here is is a reel with uh, with small uh, connectors. So you just m put the whole thing in there. Yeah. So you just. Up, you take it like this, and nice. you can you can like the car to the machine. Yes. Nice. That's awesome. So how about uh, um, uh, Taiwan versus uh, Shenzhen? Actually, the, the the salaries are not that far from each other, or they no a bit no more the here? the salaries in in Shenzhen and in Taipei are pretty much the same these days. Uh, Twenty years ago, China was much cheaper than uh, than uh, Taiwan. Um, so, but uh, these days uh, the salaries are, are the same level. The level of education in Taiwan is, uh, is much higher than in, uh, in uh, China. Uh, also because of uh, history, the relationship uh, with, uh, with uh, Japan, there is a, a lot of uh, relationship. Um, I want to show you one more thing here, right. actually, uh, Nicolas. You pull me out of, of, uh, of here. Um, we, 
And we have here, it's um, um, a machine. Let me turn on the lights. Ooh. So PCB cleaner. It's a PCB cleaner, yes. So uh, a, stencil, a stencil PCB cleaner. So um, um, you saw on our SMT line that uh, the first machine is applying the solder paste uh, on the on the PCB. Uh, that uh, is, is uh, called an, uh, a stencil, and uh, that stencil need to be cleaned. And so uh, typically in um, in uh, China they are cleaning those stencils by hand. And you use chemicals, it's very healthy um, uh, and guaranteeing an, a short life uh, for the person that do that. Um, but uh, you can clean that by machine. So, so all you these clean, products you put in there also? Uh, that are the chemicals to clean. Okay. So the chemicals you put in the machine, you put the stencil in the, in the machine and you are cleaning your stencil automatically. Which means that the employee is not being in contact with the chemicals. So, this so it's safe. Is, uh, saving all your employees. Yes, so they have a longer them. life. Yes. It's good. It's good so, but the benefit for the company is not only that you clean the, uh, the stencils and that they are really clean, but, and also uh, not that it is consistent, but the most important is that the machine is cleaning by, by um, a machine as a robot. And a robot is, is in cleaning better than a human person that is using a brush to clean because the person that clean with a brush will make dents in the, in the, sil in the stencil. If there is a dent in the stencil, you, uh, the next time when you use it, it is not flat anymore because you have to dance. And that means that the quality will decrease over time. Uh -huh. So it's, uh, it's uh, to ensure an, a little bit higher quality for, for our employees, but also for our products. Nice. I saw you having a fun time uh, these, these, these recent months and years. Huh? Oh, what is this, sorry? Uh, this, is, um, this is an oven. So a oven. Uh, for pizza. And uh, not for pizza. It's, uh, this, for example, is running on 60 degrees. Uh, when we pur uh, purchase um, components, um, sometimes uh, ICs need to be baked for 24 hours. Oh. So the components are being put inside the oven and then they are baked uh, for better sol uh, solderable uh, on the PCB. Nice. So we, uh, we have a couple, a couple standing here. That's cool. So, yes. So uh, would you say you're the best in the world in a certain field? Um, we, we are um, a manufacturer that can uh, handle very high quality products on a small volume. So this type of, uh, of quality, you can do it in a big company like Foxconn, but then you also need to have the volume that Foxconn will uh, entertain, which is in the millions. And IoT actually means many millions of small projects. It doesn't mean few big projects. Um, so IoT, your business should go up. IoT, me, uh, the T for things means it's everywhere. but. We all know that everywhere and um, all the application in total is a very big volume, but it's not the same. So there are many, many applications and many products that all will be manufactured in, in small and medium uh, volume. new ideas. There's like a million new ideas to get in this industry. Look at Kickstarter. Look at Kickstarter. You are the Kickstarter factory, potentially. Yes. Uh, For we serious Kickstarters. We, we work with a lot of Kickstarter uh, companies. Uh, once they, uh, they succeed their Kickstarter campaign and they need to manufacture, they, they realize that hardware is not easy. Uh, so uh, when they come here, we have to teach them a lot. Um, so... Um, um, they come and stay and live at your uh, factory for a couple months to get it working? Yeah, that is why we have a nice sofa in the lobby, as you <laughs> saw, so they can for camp your, there. For your customers. <laughs> yes. Uh, no, uh, we, uh, we guide them uh, to uh, a whole process and uh, we work with them um, in early stages and also follow up in their, in their projects. So, uh, 2001, did you imagine you would have this at this point? In 2001, my company was uh, like uh, 4 meters by 4 meters, uh, so uh, 16 square meters. 
So now fast forward 15 years, uh, we are 8,000 square meters uh, company, 140 people. Did I dream about it in 2001? No, I just wanted to, to, to do some, uh, something interesting. Some interesting and I didn't want to sit bored on the sofa watching television. At so it's a hobby that went out of control. Is it growing? Uh, yes, we are growing on uh, a 100, 150% year on year. Wow. Uh, so uh, that means we, you want to hire, no? Uh, are you applying for a job now, Nicolas? No, but the, the guys and girls watching this video maybe can contact you and say, hey, uh, what do you need? Uh, we are always looking for engineers. Uh, so uh, hardware engineers, software engineers. Um, uh, they are always welcome to, uh, to contact us. Uh, they can uh, easily send us an, uh, an email to uh, hr at technection.com or sales at technection.com. Um, we have um, only facilities here in Taiwan, uh, so, uh, but we, uh, we work uh, also with remote people from, uh, from time to time. And I go make videos at Linaro Connect sometimes. You work with these guys, Lin Linaro. Uh, Linaro is an advocate for open source software. Technection only provide GPL uh, software, so we... Uh, you touch everything you do, touches what they do, and they can get access to your boards also? Uh, yes, uh, so uh, uh, we work very closely with the Linux community. We, uh, we have all our software available on our FTP, on GitHub, uh, so... Uh, um, I think it is very important for customers to, uh, to have access to not only the hardware product, but also the software source code so that you can integrate it successfully in your product. So you don't do Windows? Um, at the moment we don't do Windows. You ask, you're waiting for them to make it open source? Uh, we can wait for a long time, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, and, but so. uh, there's all these different types of Linux and Linux is getting better and better, stronger and stronger, smaller and smaller. The, that enables so many new ideas. You need to manufacture all this and design and make it happen. Well, um, technology keeps changing, and um, we are uh, we are still a young company. Uh, as you saw, a lot of the people working for our company are uh, under 35 years old. I myself are thir uh, am 39, uh, so uh, we are still uh, a company. Uh, focusing on the next uh, 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 product. We are not an old-fashioned company that find a niche market that they became big with and only focus on, on doing uh, what they know best. Uh, we keep uh, changing our uh, technology for the next generation products. And uh, maybe uh, even big companies like Foxconn or something, they can like uh, ask you to help them with sm sm smaller projects. Uh, we actually have them uh, coming in from time to time and uh, we're doing uh, uh, small uh, batches uh, products uh, for them. Yeah. 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 All right. Cool. So, so uh, yes. Um, so I think uh, you had a good view on, uh, on our uh, facility. Uh, next time when you visit Taiwan, uh, we will uh, invite you to come again, uh, Nicolas. Uh, we have still some space left here. Yeah, yeah, um, we need to expand. So uh, there will be an, uh, a third line uh, installed by the end of the year or early 2018. Uh, so uh, uh, we, have, uh, we have taught everything uh, over to prepare for smooth uh, uh, growth uh, and support our customers. So cool. uh, I hope you enjoyed the tour. And Very uh, cool. First time I go in, into a Taiwan uh, company like this, it's a, it's a new world. For me, it is. It's, uh, it's, it's different, uh, different, it's different from Shenzhen, it's different uh, correct? From Shenzhen, yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah, uh, our factory, uh, you saw, we have nice decoration uh, 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 around the company. Uh, everything everywhere is very clean. And you have um, crazy policy where people can show up anytime they want. Uh, except the in the factory, I'm okay? Kidding, the except in the factory. Oh, the so, they are flexible. We take care of their kids, they get free food. No, I'm joking. Uh, it's not like Google. No, no food and uh, no, no kids. Um, we, are, uh, we are in Asia, so uh, um, it's very convenient. You can just go downstairs. There are coffee shops downstairs, restaurants downstairs. Uh, food in Asia is very affordable, only a couple good. US dollars. Taiwan food is good, right? It's very delicious food. I moved to Taiwan, I gained 20 kilos. I think it's fine. 50 
16 years and it's fine for now. Uh, yes, uh, but I have to watch double. a little bit. At least double. Uh, so, uh, yeah, um, uh, our company is uh, very organized and uh, very clean. Um, I think uh, if you take care of, uh, of your facility, you do good maintenance on your machine, you provide a uh, safe environment for the uh, employees, uh, the employees uh, on their turn are more happy to work in, in our company because uh, of, uh, of the facility, the machines are, are brand new. Um, so that and you're is seeing a return on investment. It's of it's, course because calculation is working out. When do you do your best job? When you are happy, and when you are excited, and when you have passion. So when you provide your employees with a very safe environment, Holiday. it is clean. No, uh, the holidays are stipulated in Taiwan. We have uh, as well annual leave for our employees. Uh, so every year they have uh, a number of holidays that they can uh, take as they, uh, as they wish. They can, but they don't have to work 16 hours per day, right? They don't work 16 <laughs> hours a day. They just work uh, around 40 hours a day. Uh, so 14. we work 40, 40. Uh, per week, right? Per week, Per day, yes. that would be a record. No. <laughs> okay, uh, per week. Uh, no, we have different shifts, so we have people that work in the morning, we have people that work at night. Uh, so uh, uh, we ask uh, employees uh, if they are willing to work uh, evening shifts. Uh, some people, they have uh, small children and they need to take care of their children, so they only want to work daytime. We accommodate that uh, accordingly. Uh, so uh, uh, once again, if somebody is happy to do their work, they will put their heart in it and they will uh, help to make the best product for our customers. So it's a win-win situation. And with Android things, you have so many more exciting things happening right now. It's a cool job, right? Yes, uh, actually, yes. Um, when uh, Google uh, I.O. was last uh, month, uh, we didn't tell the people here in the factory and I came into the factory and they came to me and say, Marcel, Marcel, I checked the news. Uh, uh, Google is giving away our our um, our product uh, to attendees in Google I/O, and they were all uh, all uh, happy and uh, and uh, excited about that. Uh, so uh, uh, it gives them passion and it gives them more energy to to go the extra mile. And Sergey Brin is welcome to visit the the office. Yes, of course. You should all come. Check of course, out. yes. Cool. They can watch this video. They're probably going to watch. Uh, I hope uh, everyone will enjoy uh, watching the movie. And uh, if there are further questions, uh, uh, feel free to shoot us an email. Um, just go to the Technection uh, homepage and uh, uh, send us an, uh, an, uh, an, uh, an email or, or give us a call. And uh, we, um, we hope we will see uh, a lot of excitement uh, new companies uh, uh, that uh, we can uh, help to enable uh, uh, shipping their product to their uh, to their backers uh, in Kickstarter, Indiegogo, and uh, um, to uh, to um, every uh, company that has ideas. To yeah, to enable uh, opportunities. Uh, you can have a very good idea in software. You can have a very good product idea. But to get it manufactured is uh, something different. Uh, and you need to have a very uh, knowledgeable and uh, experienced partner that can help you to uh, bring your ideas to life. So you're one of the top uh, guys from uh, Holland who knows how to get things done. Uh, yes, uh, so uh, we are a non-nonsense uh, uh, country, uh, the Netherlands. Uh, I was born and raised that way. Um, we have uh, n uh, multiple nationalities uh, working for Technection. We have Americans, we have uh, Swedish people, Polish people, German people, um, we have uh, Belgian people. So we are a multicultural uh, uh, company and we can help our customers uh, with the translation uh, of uh, their culture, not the language, but the culture and the idea that they have taught in their own country and to make it manufacturable here in Taiwan. So yes, uh, thank you very much and uh, um, uh, let's see what we can do together.